to Jacqueline, it's sad, honestly, you have to hide how much you like a guy regardless of how you actually feel for some odd reason? Yeah. You think you gotta hide how no, much I you like? No, I know you do. Like, oh, I yeah. disagree. Oh, yeah. You no, disagree? you do. Disagree. You do. Don't no, I like it. Hide. I like it when a girl's just like up front, like you, you do. slide into the DMs. Never but had we're that. We're also before. from Orlando, Florida. You're attractive. I like you. We're 18, college guys. Like, it's a weird thing where you can't show you like them too much, or they'll take it and they'll be like, ah, oh, like, you're easy to get. Like, you have to be hard to get for these men to really want you. Mm. And our like age, there's group, the opposite I, going on in our country yeah, these days. So. Like guys are like afraid. No, to go I was talking to a guy to on and off for like almost a year, and like I, I don't know. I told him I liked him and stuff, and like we were hanging out, and he was like, I don't know. Well, <sighs> that's different, but I, I don't know. I like it when a girl is just super overt. She's just up front. I do too. I, I don't like it. Do. I don't like it when girls like. That's a good quality. Like a girl who plays hard to get quickly becomes hard to want. Right, not in all cases. In all cases, well, I would. No, I would in all cases, in all cases, cases you know, you. if a girl plays hard to get to get the coochie, man, you're gonna want it more. Nah, I'm just saying. Wait, like, no, if she's playing hard to get in general, it's just there's I'm a, moving on. There's a way of telling a guy that well, you yeah. want him mm -hmm. without coming up to him and being like, "Yo, I think you're fucking hot, and I <laughs> want you." Like, you don't do that. Yeah. But there's a there's a really nice, classy way of yeah, letting a man yeah. know. Yeah. Like I. I'm picking up what you're laying down. I like what you're doing. Like, I'd like to do this again. Like, like, or I saw what you've been doing lately and I think that you're an amazing person. And like, there's just, there's a classy way of going about it, but a man knows when you like him. Yeah. Like, I also time. feel like the hard to get thing has a lot to do with just dating culture as it is like women you know Brian, you had alluded to this earlier how women there's just a million options out there it's like the grass is greener just keep swiping like it's unreal how many women or how many men a woman can have in her back pocket and so to me i think especially in today's culture when it comes to playing hard to get a lot of that, it, like I would think if I was a dude, I would think the reason why that's happening is because she's not into me or because I'm one of many on a roster. And then I would immediately hmm. lose respect. In my experience, that is not the case though. Like yeah. I literally, Same. just about every guy that I talk to that I'm like, oh, I like you. Like, let's do whatever. Like either A, I get cheated on, which has happened in both relationships and I, that's how I was. Or B, it just doesn't really go anywhere because they, they, that's easy. Like they, they're on to the next thing. And that is in my experience. Like that is literally what I experience with the men that are in my area and my kind of, age. What kind of men are you going after? I mean, attractive ones. I don't really go that's... after men if I'm being honest. Okay. Yeah, I think that men might be the wrong word to use if that's the experience that you're having. Boys. 100%. Right. Like there's... Correct. Boys. I do think though, like you guys are 18, right? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of men in that age range don't want something serious. Yeah, at all. At mm -hmm. all. So, I mean, you They're know. trying to get their lives like- But do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that is how it is for me in my experience. But yeah, I will course. say, have yeah. you ever friend zoned a guy? Yeah. Oh yeah. I bet you those guys would be down to commit to you and be loyal and be in a monogamous relationship with you. You're just chasing after the fuck boys. Valid. Damn. That was my mic drop. Yeah, well, the friend zone guys are usually the ones that are there to help you move. Like they're, they're, they're But if you're not like, physically you know, attracted to a guy, why would you? And this is why precisely why women should why not view themselves as tens the if they're not. Because if you think you're a ten, you must certainly deserve a guy who's a commensurate looks match as you. So you deserve a guy who's a ten. So the guys who are tens, actually, Nick, you pull up the hypergamy chart. Uh, this is why it's very important for women to have an accurate self-assessment of their own physical appearance because if you think you're a 10, you're going to chase after guys who are exceptionally good looking or they're, you know, they're NBA players, professional athletes, whatever, they have status. Or it could be a socioeconomic thing. These, got, these men are not going to commit to you. Why? Because you're, because you're dating you're out of your league. Enough. Mm -hmm. You're sleeping you're out of your league. Oh. Here's the difference between men no, and women. We'll pull it up in just a sec, Nick. <laughs> so, Women, you can sleep outside of your league. You can, you can be a five in looks and fuck a guy who's a seven, eight, or nine in looks. You're not gonna get commitment from him. Whereas the reverse is never true. Me as a- Did you, you not know, just back up my point? Hold on. Octopus Tetro donated $100. Could you Coming back to it, look for men that are at least 25, not saying all young guys are trash. 
But all young guys playing you like that, are trash. So honestly, girls, introduce him to your father before. And look, I, just to go back on what I was saying before really quick on that, there's plenty of 18, 19, 20 year old men that want relationships. Like, I'm not saying that it's just because of their age. It does seem to be a little bit more common for both men and women who are especially young to kind of not prioritize long-term relationships. Oh, I want to discover myself. Translation, I want to fuck around. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. getting back to the whole rating thing. So again, as men, I, can, I can't sleep out of my league. I can't have sex with a girl who's more attractive than me. Men will get rejected instantly. Whereas women, you can get sex from men outside of your league, you're not going to get commitment. Why are you pointing towards her? Because I just feel like she has something good to say. Me? After this. Oh, her. her. Just, just disregard that. Sorry. Okay. Well, that's not true. I, yeah. What's not true? I agree 100%. What's not true? You backed up my point from earlier by saying that guys will oh just goodness. have sex with girls if they or have a hole or anything with a hole. Because you said that guys will get with... Well, I wasn't contesting that point, really. Oh. Okay. Actually, most girls have sex and only, like, what, 20% of guys have sex? No, I feel like guys have more sex than girls. Well, in, like, what, in no, really? No. You don't? There's more... Owned. No. That are more wrong. women are having sex Fours. than men are. You basically have, like, a cohort I guess I'm of, just going off of what I've done because I don't feel like, compared to a lot of the guys, oh, I feel like they have had more sexual experiences No, they I act have. like Maybe it so they, they can get in your pants. It. I'm telling you right now. They act like it so <laughs> they can... Like, in high school, there was rumors that I would fuck the whole school. You know what that means? The men that you've pursued are, are probably us. out of your league because they have an abundance of sexual options. Mm. Otherwise, um, if you had met a guy who... You, I should... should well, should, actually, should, I would you're even... You're putting argue, on a good show right now. I would actually... You're doing great. Yeah, you're doing a good show right now. <laughs> cool. Meta conversation. Um, what, what was that? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to kick you off, but go take another 10-minute timeout. Okay. All right. Go away. <laughs> I, like, go away. Like... You've annoyed me. Go away. You can come back in 10 minutes. <laughs> should, I start introduce, should I start introducing a 10-minute timeout? You have to face the I corner. You have to face the corner and think about what you've done. Okay. I just have to do that. Did here. you see that smirk? She was so happy to be told water. what to do. Yeah. Go into the corner, face the corner, and think Bye, about what you've done. All right. There you go. No, that's the wrong corner. Actually... Okay, good talk. Um, wait, I totally, totally lost my train of thought. My friend, uh, well, so the book we were just talking about earlier, Ben Shapiro's mm. book about the porn uh, culture, yep. addresses that between, I don't remember the exact statistic, but it's between 30 and 40% of men have lied to women about their sexual experiences in order to sound more versed, or the Ooh. flip side of that coin have lied about being a virgin in order to manipulate women into getting into bed with them because men are 50 times more visual than women. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool to know. I didn't know that. You should read it. Good book. Might I change your read. life. I think we were I'm saying, you, so all the guys like, you've encountered, you can't read. all the guys you've encountered, they've had more. Yeah. Any guy that I've ever gotten with in any way has been with more people than I have. Or so they've said they have. Or they well, about, honestly, they that have. might not be like a... Right, that but makes, I also I don't know. That that makes I feel sense. like I'm just really low, so I feel like it's not hard. That's to a beat. good thing. Yeah, keep that. <laughs> it's a good thing. That makes sense because th those twenty percent of guys are doing a lot of the girls. Uh -huh. So like the math makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, the hypergamy chart. Okay, we'll look in. We'll look at it. Yeah. Okay, on the left is. What the hell? What is this? <laughs> on the left is whom men would happily partner with, and then on the right, whom women would happily partner with. So, what you have happening is women are very selective, which isn't a bad thing. Correct. Uh, and this is going on on dating apps, for example. So, men are pretty ha like happily willing to partner with women who are their equivalents, or even a little bit below, right? Mm -hmm. But, look, everybody wants to get the best that they can get. However, uh, this is a this is a more pronounced thing in women because women are more sexually selective So what you have a, end up happening is you have the vast majority of women are chasing after the top percentage of men And this is this is backed up by mm -hmm. what's going on on dating apps women are only swiping on the top five or ten percent of men on dating apps so what ends up happening is there's a you have a concentration of very attractive men that essentially sort of have a monopoly on a lot of women because look, again, everybody wants to get the best they can get. The difference is, if I step to a girl, if I approach a girl, whether it's in person or on a dating app, 
or via Instagram and she's, let's say she's more attractive than I am by whatever metric you, you judge or assess attractiveness. I'm, I'm getting nothing. I'm not getting a response. I'm not getting a first date. I'm not, I'm not getting casual sex. I'm not getting a relationship. Whereas women, if you slide into a dude's DMs who's got status and you have no status, who's rich but you're not rich, who's really attractive and you're kind of average, he's probably going to, he, well, he's not probably, but he may very well use you for your body, have sex with you, maybe a couple times. Maybe he'll keep you around with, as a friends with benefits. You'll never, you'll never get commitment from this guy typically. And so what ends up happening is women will start to think, oh, well, because I can get sex from this guy and he's this attractive, I must be his female equivalent. Mm -hmm. Because I can sleep with him and he's this attractive, I must be his like equivalent attractiveness, which is absolutely not true at all. So that's why it's very important that women have an accurate self-assessment of their own physical attractiveness. I said, okay. Very true. Destroyed. Destroyed. Oh, hey guys, you got was on. We're okay. happy to see you. Yeah, that was not ten minutes. Out you go. Oh, let me see. Out. out you go. Sorry. It wasn't. Nope. Oh, tell me when I can come back with it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm I'm working on a different time clock here. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, see. in the corner. Yep, that corner, so I can keep an eye on you. Good, well done. At least she's doing she's it. Look at that. I wish submissive. I could see her. Submissive. <laughs> What's that? It's good. Like in Harry I had to write that a hundred times. Time out. No, no, no. Like yep. yep. Face the corner. <laughs> Face the corner. I think they can see you in the mirror, actually. You guys see her right here? Wait. No, no, no. You Face, the corner. Face the corner. Face the corner. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah, you see her? There you go. Good. No. Uh, <laughs> Zip it. Okay. All right. Um, well, this came. This whole conversation came from chasing. We were talking no, about chasing. It came from the attraction. It actually sassy well, we man made that chart. Oh wait, no, no, no. We, it did. It did. You guys, you said the chase is bullshit, chart. or you said um. Oh yeah. You said uh, oh you have to hide how much you like a guy regardless of how you yeah. actually feel. I don't know. Here's here's how I know guys don't like the chase. If making guys guys chase like actually worked and increased his attraction to you, then couldn't like ugly or obese women implement this method no. and just get men? <laughs> No. no. There has to be physical attraction. It's <laughs> an Australian accent. <laughs> it's actually British. Well, wait. No, that's it it's Australian. Yeah, it's Australian. Yeah. I was yeah. getting it from like it's Clear, or like H two O. Clear, no. They're Australian. If a guy is attracted to you, ah, da, 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 into the corner. Uh, <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> yep. There you go. Well done. <laughs> actually, I actually think I love her. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's growing. She's amazing. I told you. You're does happen. Get some duct tape. Okay. No, I'm just that was a joke. That was a joke. Brian, I agree with you here, and I would also elaborate that it's the specification between men in a traditional sense that are not looking for the chase. Men who are serious about commitment and are looking for committed relationships are looking for a longtime life partner, a woman to be their peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you cause more chaos and you're asking a man to provide for you and protect you and be all of these things that women have these standards they've set for guys and he comes home to utter chaos and mm. problems and pick and fights, then you're not being his peace. Absolutely. And yeah. any any That's man that wow. contests that is is not a man. They're looking for a chase. They're looking for a game um, at the end of the day you're not going to get anything but solid also, out of a game mm -hmm. a well, game is like it's just the guys that we like in our age range that we attract they, they're just like that are you 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 said that you were going for older <clears throat> men i am i am and but what, that's like just what much? i go for but what i'm surrounded by is younger men that are my age because that's just where i'm at i don't know i'm not around a bunch of mature husband material men all the time do you go to church i do i do oh, okay there's not a like a lot of older men i just don't feel like it's appropriate it is not a time at church, church. yeah <laughs> if we already to married. what was that I just, seeking my future husband yeah. honestly which okay yeah it should be yeah See maybe if he came up for us i was like <laughs> but um for me in church like i really use church as a time to worship god yeah. i don't care about any of the 
relationship. Well, where then where you are look? you looking Kidding. for yeah. men? <laughs> where am I looking for men? Well, okay, so you had said that you're not looking. So when you, when you encounter men oh, and have relationships with them, where are you okay. finding those men? Get back in the corner. Wait, is it on the same? <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that. Hey, this is brutal. She's being respectful. That's good. 